trip to Cooley Bar. Well, I'll get a little announcement to make. At the Catherine Camp Draft, Milton broke the news that the Joneses have a baby on the way. Here, look, we're pregnant. <laughs> In this episode... Try the round ones on, give me a look, mate. Right? The family heads to the big smoke. <laughs> to meet their newest member. Look at its little legs. God, it's amazing, isn't it, mate? But they're not the only ones on an adventure. <laughs> Grove is at a rodeo and lurches in town for the first time in five years. How long before you're back? Oh, another five years. When they have you in a box. Oh, no, come on, go, go, go. But with the bosses away, <laughs> the Cooley Bar gang are up to all sorts of mischief. I got nothing, I got a can of spam on my bed. That's what they left me with, that's it. <laughs> I bet you five bucks I'll catch one before you. It's been two months since the Catherine Camp Draft, and it's family time. Oh, I got him. He got him. But outings you like this him. are about to change. Wind him. You're right. the Joneses have a baby on the way. I've got a big one. You have. It's exciting. So I think Melton, he's pretty keen to have another boy. <laughs> hey, yeah, I can see. Girl, it would be nice, but I don't mind if it's a boy. That's what you eat when you're in the bush. When I was little like you, I used to eat all these. It's a special time, but later on, it's going to be even more memorable. <laughs> That's real bush run, you tucker that. Milton's taking the family to Brisbane for a big event. Christina's having an ultrasound day, so make it a bit special, eh? Mum and I should be coming up here on our own. Because it's a good little romantic spot. Peace and quiet. <laughs> Done at the station. <laughs> the backpackers have just fed the pets. Yeah, where I'm from, people normally have like cats, dogs, never sort of watch crocodiles. It's another strange sight. But after a few months at Cooley Bar, the girls have the favourite. <laughs> Head chopper pilot Stephen Grove. We were chatting about Stephen. He's like, got these most amazing eyes. Yeah. Like Top Gun with yeah. a hat. And he's meant to be like the best mustering pilot in Australia, and it's the way, yeah, you see them walking off into the sunlight. Yeah, towards it's the way he's got his hat down. Oh, I'm really like... <laughs> <laughs> the ladies like it, but one of the most dangerous jobs in Australia is becoming a problem for growth. He's getting bored. Yeah, some mornings I wake up. Sun's coming up, you're flying around, and you think, it, yeah, it is a good job, but that soon wears off pretty quick. I just do it because it's a job. Couldn't say I love flying one bit, but it's a job. I'm just sitting here make sure he does everything right, you know? The good news is that Stephen has a hobby that helps with the boredom. He's a competitive bronco rider. And today, Groves is going to Darwin for his adrenaline fix. Bit of excitement, eh? Something different. Gets the old ticker going a bit, eh? You know, we're all getting older, so I don't intend to sit in the arse in one of them forever, so we'll see how we go. So old Groves is off to fix a dull day. The Joneses are home in time to see another guy head off. Are you there, Lodge? Careful. Come over now, you ready to go or what? Yeah, mate, no worries. Right, I'll just duck across and see us. Lurch, the handyman, is going to town. Poor old Lurchy. He looks really good today. He's got a clean shirt on. I don't know if his shorts are clean, but you can't really see them anyway. 
He looks very dapper. I bet he hasn't cleaned his teeth, though. <laughs> now, heading to the Big Smoke isn't exactly a huge event, unless you haven't been there in a very, very long time. Look, you realise how long since you've been to town, eh? I'll get lost for sure. Be five years at least since he's been in, probably 14 years before that. He only went in because he had a broken foot. We buy all of his clothes and beer and everything. He hasn't been shopping for 14 years. But that's no good. I'm going to ring the bank and tell him you're coming in. Yep. But there that's comes no a good. time when oh, you every man must open yeah. a new Permanent bank deposit. account. And today, uh -huh. that's what Lurch needs to do. Give us a look at your driver's licence. I've got to make sure he's got all his ID and everything. What's the expiry? You haven't even got a driver's licence. Uh -huh. Right, you've got a bit to do. All right, see you. Luckily, Lurch's mate Dave is going to take him to town. His sister's coming up this year and his grandkids. He doesn't have grandkids, babe. He's well, never been married. No, well, she has. Yeah, well, they're not his grandkids. Nephew. Yeah. Well, they're coming up, <laughs> so he's got to buy some presents from him. Right With Lurch on his way, the Joneses are good to go. But they'll need a chopper a plane and a map to get to their doctor's appointment. Welcome to the jungle! I'm on fire! Today, most of Cooley Bar's off to town. And the Joneses have arrived in Brisbane. Harry Williams, Country Road. They're here for Christina's scan, but first, Milton has a job to do. Yeah, well, uh, got to get Mum a present. I'm thinking what I could buy, I don't know. Try the round ones on, give me a look, mate. <laughs> Brown or blue, where are you going? But it only takes one shop before Milton's distracted. <laughs> this old Sheila and the blonde look. Hey, look at that hat that kid's got on there. Plenty of people here, it's never end on, is it? Now, little Milton's forgotten Mum too. Hey, Jan, I want to get myself something. You want to get yourself something? Well, we can do that. Right, are we going this way? Toy shop, Mum. Oh, are we? Right, eh? Come on, toy shop. I can see, look at the big chopper there, look, here, big chopper up here, look. Oh, 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 oh. But even in a toy store, you can't get the kid out of Coolie Bar. Helicopter, Milton. Where, Mum, where? I want one of these. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, there's lots of choppers there. Yeah, look at this here. No, 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 which, which, which one are we going to get? That's a good one. This one. Right, oh, that'll do you. Come on, let's go then. The apple really hasn't fallen far from the tree. And it's then that Milton remembers something. I'll meet you between here and the end of the street, isn't it? Yeah. On the corner. I just gotta go back here for a minute. Right. -o. You look after Mum's hand now. Right. -o. He hasn't forgotten that present for Christina after all. Beautiful, that friend. No, good eh? I'm not much of a shopper, you can get thought it's expensive in there. <laughs> Bloody hell. Last time I'll go into a Louis Vuitton, what is it? Louis, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Hey, she put me in the right spot, eh? Hey? A thousand or so k's west in Catherine, another fellow's arrived in town. It's all the time. It's all the time. This is the first time Lurch has been away from Cooley Bar in five years, so he has a big to-do list. He's got to get his licence renewed, go to the bank, get an account sorted out, that's probably buy a few clothes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> like a fish out of water. But first, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. What kind of fish are you chasing? Barra mainly. Price of the lures are probably a bit more expensive than when you were in here last time, mate. Yeah, about six bucks, it was. Yeah, six dollars. That was a long time ago. How long before you're back? Well, another five years. When they have you in a box. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. But Lurch soon finds a friend. Pretty skinny cocker around here. 
Must be that a waterfall, what? Now he's back on track. Bank account open. Driver's license sorted. And that gives Lurt a license to shop. Hi, how's it going? How you going, mate? Well, I've got a medium in that one there. Yep. Yeah, that really fit me nicely. Okay, now did you want to look at some other shirts as well? We've got some like your dress shirts in the pinks. Not really, mate. Thank you very much. Fit properly. I reckon it's going to be too big for your head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lurch is all done for the day. But this town thing is thirsty work. Have a good day in there, did you? Yeah. Hey. Wait another five years before you come in, or you? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Might come back in next week. <laughs> See how you pull up after this lot. Yeah. k's up the road in Darwin, Stephen Groves is going to do something very different with his trip to town. We're going to rip in a bronc ride. Yeah, we'll just get on the bronc there and see how I go with it. Before I ride, you just get a little bit of an adrenaline rush and it's all just a bit of fun, eh? And if it's adrenaline he's after, I think he's going to get it. Ride, the competitor gets two guns. They have eight seconds to stay on the horse and look good doing it. So the harder the wrong bucks, the better. Guess I'm preparing my saddle and myself to get everything right, you know. When you don't do it every day, you gotta go a little bit harder and, and uh, try a little bit harder at getting it right up here. Now the cooling bar pilot's getting back on the horse. But was it good enough for thrill-seeking groves? Would have been a lot better with a nice horse, but as I say, that's rodeo. Shit happens. Can't win a more, though. But luckily, the man has one ride to go. Today, the Joneses are in town, and now they're off to a special appointment. Mum's got to have a scan, mate. Have a little baby, eh? Here, here you go. Green man, go. Even though they're on their way, the plan is still in debate. Milton wants to know the sex, but I don't really want to know the sex, so see what happens there. In there, is it? Yeah, in here. <laughs> While Mum and Dad aren't on the same page, little Milton can't contain himself. Don't start with salary. He knows what's going on. He's really excited. He's been asking about it for the last couple of weeks, so, yeah. Come on, Yeah. Michael, come on. Hey, Keegan. It's um, a little bit nerve-wracking, yeah. It'll be good to see that everything's right, though. Thank you. Today, not everyone at Cooley Bar has gone to town. Just loading up a heap of cattle and yarding them all up, yeah. Running around, hot, all the usual. Rookie Jeff spent the day holding the fort. Now it's nap time. <laughs> but Jeff may have trouble sleeping. Are you kidding? When all his things have disappeared. <laughs> Do you me Very frustrated. I gotta get in bed, so. I want to know where all my gear is. I got nothing. I got a can of spam on my bed. That's it. This is ridiculous. But who would want to steal all Jeff's stuff? <laughs> no way, I would. Oh wait. I'm sure it'll all turn up at some point. Maybe. 
Jeff played a patch called Joke on me last night and he went into my room and hid my lamp. So me and Caroline, we went into his room and thought that it'd be really funny if we just take everything out of his room and hide somewhere. And that's exactly what we've done. And now the search for the missing gear begins. Hey Trevor! What? Mate, you must have seen some of my rooms just there. What's that? The girls. <laughs> what girls? The two backpackers have taken all my gear and chucked it somewhere. You don't know where they would have chucked it, my chance? That's not your room. Chris, you've been here six months. Oh. You've got to be as dumb as dog shit if you don't know where your room is by now. That is my room! It, no, it isn't. <laughs> you've never been in there. I know something. <laughs> Oh, the first horse, he didn't have much buck in him at all. It frustrates you a little bit. But his second go may be a different story. The crowd likes it. So how was that, bro? Horse was unreal, mate, but yeah. I got him all excited now after I got on him. Before I got on him, I was just... But now I've been on him and had a crack at him and... Well, as you can see, it didn't work out the way it should have, but... Um, yeah, it was all a hell of a lot of fun, eh? Unfortunately, it's not a winning run, but it seems Groves got what he came for. Was the horse alive? Good. Real good. Strong bars, mate. Held it there. Did a bit of blood there. I might get lucky tonight, I'll tell that to me missus. That's not about winning, it's about doing a bronc ride, doing the ride. I mean, winning's good, but it's not really why I ride. I like to ride because I like riding, so. Solved the case of his missing gear. I can't find it anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, they've nailed him a beauty. <laughs> He's been to that big shed, them little stables. He doesn't know what day it is half the time. <laughs> he wouldn't know his ass from his elbow. <laughs> but the backpackers have a clue. <laughs> What he doesn't know is that we've actually set it up in one of the spare rooms and we've set it up exactly as it was. But you'd think that possibly you'd maybe look in the spare rooms before going out to the fields. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's not an allergy service. He just has to look a little bit harder. If he opened the door next door, he'd find all his gear. Now, I don't know if someone told him, but Jeff may have worked it out. No. <laughs> Yes, my gear. <laughs> I even made my bet. <laughs> uh, and in the room next door the whole time. That's... Wow, how stupid am I? <laughs> we really just thought maybe 20 Straight. minutes or something, like Straight. maximum. But yeah, I thought you'd pretty much just look in the spare rooms. No wonder everyone's laughing. Right next door to my own room. We didn't think that it'd be as funny as it is. Yeah, it was cool, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Might as well just stay here. Yeah. This is it. New home. They got me good. They got me really good. Beautiful. <laughs> It's the moment the Joneses have come a long way for. I can just turn around. They're about to meet their newest member. Maybe. And finally, Christina and Milton have agreed not to find Look out the sex. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the baby. Look at the little baby. Can you see the heart, baby? But anyway, it's a boy. How do you know it's a boy? And it has short hair. Oh, it's a bit short. That's a good way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the arms are moving around here. Yeah. Oh, God, that's amazing, isn't it, eh? Having a bit of a kick. Another leg down the bottom there. Good, isn't it? God, it's amazing that day, how you can see it all. Back to the backbone there. See your little backbone there, mate? Yep, and the uh, 
Yeah. So what? Candy, well, why is it inside your tummy? It's, it's just growing there, but I'm look at its little legs. It's going to kick again. That's how you work. And the legs over there? The toes. There's a, <laughs> see, there's a little hand there, see? Yeah, good old play in there. Yeah. Look at him, look at that. Way well, it's laughing at you now. <laughs> Little baby. Looks good, huh? Looks good, doesn't it, bro? You might sneak into a bar, right, and have a few beers. Next time... Hello, send them. The family's back home. Six on here, 11 more. But the shopping spree goes on. I could start my own children's clothes shop, actually. <laughs> the big kids are back from school. Right, give him a jump in here, BJ. And straight into Milton's classroom. Get on a horse or catch a crocodile, whatever. That's how you learn. And a very special birthday surprise for the Joneses. Wow!